coming at you today with very minimal makeup because your girl is having the mother of all wisdom teeth issues and I do not want to put anything anywhere near my face. So I'm going to try my best to talk normally even though everything is pain. But hi, I'm here today to give you possibly the most unrealistic TBR I've given you since I first ever started Booktube. We all know how terrible I am at actually reading books. The reason why my TBR for the month of February is so excessively large is because I accidentally found out about a whole bunch of readathons that are going on this month and decided to participate in two of them. And even that was cutting it down a lot because I wanted to participate in all of them as all of us do, but I had to try and limit myself. So I've stuck to two readathons and chosen some books to fit those challenges. We'll see how we go. Anyway, let's talk about the books. So the first readathon that I am participating in for the month of February is Valentine's, as in Val-lit-tines, not Valentine's. And the way this readathon works is that you get a bingo board and you get to try and complete a bingo using whatever challenges you prefer. So the first prompt was Living Single, which involved reading a standalone novel. And for that, I will be reading Persuasion by Jane Austen, which is also the book of the month for the Keep It Classic book club, which we have started again as of this month. So Persuasion is the book that you guys all voted on for us to read for the months of February and March. I actually have no idea what Persuasion is about. I know that it's Jane Austen and I know that it's romance and that's it. So I'm pretty excited to have a look at that and see what it's like. The next prompt was Together Forever and that was to body read a book. And I am also using Persuasion for that again because of the book club. It doesn't really count, but I'm kind of body reading it with at least the three other hosts of the Keep It Classic book club. Then I got a free square, so I'm just gonna, you know, any book, any book will do. After that was by any other name. So this prompt somehow meant to read a banned book. And for that, I will be reading Lady Chatterley's Lover, which was one of the books that we put down as an option for the Keep It Classic book club, but was not voted into victory and that's fine. So this book has been banned in like a whole bunch of countries because it is quite saucy. So I am excited to read that. And I thought it would be a fun romantic read to read for February as well. And the final prompt on my little bingo at least was To the Ends of the Earth. And this was to read a translated book. And for that, I will be reading Daughter of Fortune by Isabel Allende. This was originally written in Spanish. I know that it involves an English family that tries to adopt this woman from Chile and sort of turn her into a proper English lady. The main character, whose name I think is Eliza, is very headstrong and independent and charts her own course and rejects this attempt at fitting her into proper English boxes, which is very cool. And I know that it also involves some romance, so that'll be a good book to add to the Valentine's month of reads as well. And that is it for the Valentine's readathon. And the next one that I'm doing is Feminist Lit February. And this only has a few prompts, which are basically just sort of designed to kind of guide your reading, or you can choose not to follow the prompts at all if you want. And I have decided to follow them. So the first one is to read a book of feminist fiction. And for that, I am reading Wide Sage So See by John Reese. I've talked about this on my channel before and this is the sort of imagined prequel to Jane Eyre. Essentially it kind of explores that concept of the mad woman in the attic and madness in English literature which was a huge theme in sort of Victorian and early British literature and it looks at that and the ways in which that concept of madness is used to frame both women and also people of other cultures in a way of sort of oppressing people and making sure that they are kept at the mercy of the non-mad normal people. Next prompt on the list is to read a work of feminist non-fiction and I am using this as a chance to a cross off one of my currently reading list books from my massive long list of currently reading books and b to cross off my non-fiction requirement for the year as well because I've said that I need to try and read a non-fiction book every two months and this is my book and it is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. I talked about this very recently this is a stream of consciousness style of narrative which is basically just the lecture notes from a lecture that Virginia Woolf gave at a university about women in creative fields and sort of the historical and systematic ways in which women have been sort of kept out of creative fields because we haven't been given the room of one's own in which to create. The next prompt was to read an own voices book and I am counting Daughter of Fortune towards that because the author Isabella Allende was born in Chile and the main character is also born in Chile. The next prompt on the book was to read a book written by a black woman or a black non-binary gender fluid person as well and for that I will be trying to read Beloved by Toni Morrison who is a black woman. This is a book that a friend of mine gave me quite a while ago for my birthday or for Christmas. I unfortunately don't know much about this book except that it is a historical fiction novel set at the time when slavery has finally been abolished and it follows 
a woman who was a slave and obviously is no longer a slave. And also the story of her, I think she has an infant daughter who died and that is literally all I know about it, but I am excited to read it because I have been assured that it is good and I will be able to tell you more about it when I am done. Somehow, in spite of the fact that I know I'm lucky to even read one book a month, I will be trying to read six books this month. <laughs> Let me know if you are participating in any readathons down below in the comments and maybe if you'd be interested in buddy reading any of these books with me because that would be a really good way to get my reading up and get me motivated to actually finish these books. I will see you for another video very shortly, I am sure, and until then, as always, stay classic. Mwah. Sit there and count your little thing. Unhappy little girl blue